Hi, welcome. This is a video how to install Arclinux B BSB WM. I change from time to time the settings of my virtual box and this time it's not going to be a BIOS installation, but it's going to be, where is it again? It's going to be a UFI installation. So you see different um, boot up screens, right? So BSB WM is loaded up. I boot up and I get, do not get it to see a nice logo. And we end up here in the middle and we need to be at the top. So that's important if you have a UFI system. So installing on real metal or in this case VirtualBox and select that little tick there. For the rest, everything will be the same. I mean, it just boots up differently. Assuming that you have a UFI uh, computer, so a newer computer and the bias is, let's say, an older computer. Now, April 2020, things changed. We're booting up inside BSB WM. We do not have an XFC that goes through the installation process. We still have, and that's just for deeping and tutile at this point in time in April. But um, we have to figure out how to navigate and how to work immediately in a tiling window manager, which makes it a little bit more tricky. But here it is, shortcut keys. Hmm. Super Shift D menu, Alt F2, F3, Super Enter. Quitting sounds like an important button here, Super Shift Q. But mainly, if you just boot up, then the process is the same as, ever, as all, on all the desktops. You run Gport, that's my advice, but you don't have to follow my advice. Now in this case, this little thing is in, in the middle, right? It's, it's in the way. Now, either we just push it out of the way like this would be good as well with a super pressed in super key and then the left mouse I can move it about because it's just in my way and then you start deleting things you can say this one I need that one to go and doesn't matter if it's here or not it's just gonna work it's done it's gone everything is gone and it was an awesome uh, installation so now I need to close this one you can either do quit here or you can start remembering keyboard shortcuts, super Q. And if you're on Azerti in QWERTY, which is always my issue, then it's super A, right? I haven't changed anything yet. You can move this about any way you like. Now, if this thing is closed, you can always uh, restart it again as well. So when I close this by accident, super A in my case, or super Q, right? It's really gone. Super shift D, it's gonna be back if I know the name, Arco Linux. You see the, the Q there, Arco Linux. And the welcome app is down here. This is arrow keys, by the way, left, right, welcome app. And it's back, right? And I can select here again, whatever I want and run Calamares. So a Super Shift D is a keyboard shortcut you should remember on all our desktops. We love it. It's gonna be there, it's gonna do something. We need to launch stuff, right? Super Shift D. Here is the configs info that I don't wanna forget to explain you that something has changed here. The little icon here, a splash, that uh, just a reminder that guys, um, th sometimes Pacman says that package and that package conflict, choose. Remove that one or that one, yes, no. You get this choice, right? So remember that you need to make choices here. Uh, Super A is, has killed that particular thing again. Now we're gonna run Calamaris. Finally, it's gonna install it. Now this really is in our way. This we can get rid of, right? Super A, it's gone. Be sure to select what it is. When, wherever the cursor is on, that's gonna be killed. So Super A, I wanna kill this. Now luckily Calamaris says yes, no, huh? no, 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 no. Forget about it, don't want it. So let's continue installing. What version is it? It's Calamaris 3.2.20, which mine brings me to my attention that I should show you an image. Uh, this particular image is uh, interesting to know. Everybody should know it if this thing happens and it's only in five to 10% of our cases, then you have an installed installation. Everything is working just fine. Installation failed. If it says U mount, then it means reboot. You've unsuccessful uh, installation. Next uh, 
version, you see the version numbers here, next version, that should be out of there. Come on. Super A killed the guy. So this is how it is. This is a tiling window manager. This is big, right? But um, that's what tiling window managers do. And um, that's why we have a control alt T and it tiles it automatically. With this thing active or that thing, so the mouse decides what to kill. Super A is killing that one. Or Q, right? Remember Azerti Querti. And this time I'm gonna pass through these, these uh, images faster. There are other videos, Arclinix, Arclinix D, watch those to know what all this is about because I, otherwise every Arclinix B uh, video will be super long. But it's all about choices, it's all about fun and games because there are lots of stuff in here that's interesting. People are probably working now from home with Teams, Microsoft Teams. Yes, it works on Arclinix, right? WhatsApp, mm -hmm, it works and zoom and other stuff. So we are, well, yeah, reinventing our, our daily work and life with this little uh, virus that's uh, spreading over the world and um, we can work from home, develop from home, choose our applications right there on Calamares. We do not provide an office application on ISO. Why? <laughs> There's so many choices. Should I add every, every one of them? No because it's a ISO that's super big. So here we have all the choices in Calamares if you've got the internet, so make sure that's working, then everything will be installed afterwards. Multimedia, there's so much out there, so much nice things. You decide what you want to play your music with, right? Or maybe record some stuff, UES Studio is here. Peak is also interesting, many people do not know it. It's an animated GIF you can make. Spotify is there, VLC is there, and so much more. Just going through it more quickly than other videos, right? So choose whatever you want. Some of them uh, will conflict. And here we have this conflicting guy here, the breeze and the X cursor breeze will conflict. But never mind, it will install one of them. It will not crash. Calamaris just skips it, says whatever, and won't install it. Gaming, yeah, sure, let's try some games. And there's of course um, Steam there that you can play. Where is it? Here it is, Arclix Meta Steam. So we have our own package because of the fact that it's so complex. And we made a package build to say, okay, click and install. The same goes for Arclix Steam Viewer, as also quite complex. Package build, boom, everything works out of the box. No, fr no frustration. Just fun, that's has always been our goal, is our goal. Utilities, lots of stuff, things you like, don't like, um, you check it out. There are also some quite old things in here that I've used to work with at school, university. Nostalgia probably. File manager, things, well, choose, right? Um, lots of Git applications here, Git Kraken. Why stay in a terminal when you go, can go graphical? It's interesting, even if you know the terminal stuff. It's interesting. USB, maybe a tip here in the video as well. If anybody has a trouble burning USBs, then tell them to install Etcher because that response is gonna work on Windows, on Mac and on Linux. It's no error anyway. I mean, there is no setting. Drop the ISO, click on where is the USB, burn i mean can't be any easier than that there's no technicality involved whatsoever neither with uh, image writer that's going to work as well and this is to burn your windows iso on linux and this is for us article links developments if we want to develop stuff we just click tick this one and we have everything we need to develop but everything you tick will be installed, means you have a longer installation, means you have more bandwidth you're gonna use, and so on. So if, if that's an issue for you, you select very uh, carefully. Erase disk, three possibilities. Well, actually six, since you can encrypt as well. So six possibilities, you choose from up here. And number seven is you choose whatever you want as a manual partition, okay? Videos about 
all of this and the manual partition for example is on articlelinks.com the calamares article it's on the right side of the website or in the menus And there we go. And we install our system. He's, did you see, creating a GPT? So this is another video, an example where it's UEFI, not bias as an option. And it, it is a slightly different kind of uh, partition. But Calamaris takes care of all that. And doesn't, uh, no problem for him. All right, so let's uh, pause the video here. And we're in luck, guys. We have an example where this um, Calamars just uh, gives us, throws us an image, image of an error of an, uh, in our face. And the only thing you need to know is to close the damn thing and reboot. So how do we reboot on this system? It says here, super plus X exit. Super plus X exit, uh-huh. Restart, our installation is successful. Thank God there is at least one video already where the error occurs and we can prove to you guys, hey, it just installs. All right, so we have BSPWM. How to kill this again? Super A, Super Q, right? Super A in my case. And we have here the conkeys as the explanation. This is a conkey, but it gives us some, some keyboard shortcuts. Once you know these guys, you can um, get rid of the conkey but uh, maybe better to leave it on there and um, best thing to do i think now could be a ctrl alt f for firefox so keyboard shortcuts you should know them right and we have it covered we can learn and you can learn here in phase 3 in bsbwm that's the installation i will add this video to that particular article well not that particular article actually article links b because this is building right we're not actually building, we're downloading, but the idea is that you should build. And here is all the information you need to work a little bit efficiently with BSPWM. How to install it, where's the configuration, how is it set up, what the keyboard shortcuts are, how the icons, and so on and so on and so on. So take a look at this first before asking any questions. All right, have fun with BSPWM.